Have you ever been broke? Just broke to the wide? But is what you stand up in and nothing beside? Living on scraps for the best part of a week, when you can get them and know where to seek. I've been like that on a cold winter's night, when the streets are deserted with nothing in sight but a slow-moving bobby whose job is to see that the public's protected from fellas like me who get put inside to answer the court while they're wandering round with no means of support. It always strikes me as a queer sort of joke to pick on a man just because he's broke. Do they think he enjoys wandering round in the rain, soaked through to the skin with a dying in pain through his stomach, forgetting its last decent meal, just praying for the time when it's too numb to feel? Life isn't worth much when you get to the state of just waiting to die with nowhere to wait. I remember the time, it's a long while ago, when I stood on a bridge with the river below. The last food I'd had was two days before and I, I never expected I'd need any more. That night was the worst that I'd ever known, with a dirty wet fog that chilled to the bone. I set my teeth hard. And I set down my heel on the rail that my hands were too perished to feel when a snivelling pup came out of the fog and whimpered at me. Just a scrap of a dog, bedraggled and dirty like me, just a wreck, with a sad little face on his poor scraggy neck. A few seconds more and I would have died, but, but he just licked me hand and I, I sat down and cried. And I covered the poor little chap with me coat. And I carried him off with a lump in me throat. I took him along to the one place I knew where they'd give him a bed and a biscuit or two. And they didn't seem keen on taking him in, but the sergeant in charge gave a bit of a grin when I told him the dog could do with a meal. He said, we'll fix him up, but how do you feel? Now, it could be perhaps the sergeant had seen the state I was in. I, well, I wasn't too clean. The hunger and cold that I'd suffered all day exhausted me limits. I fainted away. Well, they fed me and slept me and gave me two bob. following day, they found me a job. I've worked ever since, and I've put a bit by. I'm comfortable now, and I don't want to die. I've a nice little house and a quiet little street and a decent side garden that's always kept me. I work there a lot when I've got time to spare, and I'm... So proud of one little corner that's there, with a pick of the flowers and a little old stone, stands in a corner, all on its own. The stone bears an inscription, not very grand. The letters are crooked, but you'll understand that I, I wasn't too steady. I couldn't quite see the time when I carved it quite recently. Here are the words that I carved on the stone. Here lies my friend when I was alone. Helpless and friendless, just lost in the fog. God save my life with the help of a dog.